Well, I, we appreciate everybody's patience as we delayed the beginning just a little bit. Uh, let me share my congratulations with the graduates. You've worked hard, played hard, overcome many obstacles, and learned much. Earning your degree is a significant and meaningful step. It's a big deal. You should be very proud of your achievement. Well done. Second, and probably most important to me, I want to share my disappointment at only having had the opportunity to be with you for just one academic year. I've gotten to know many of you, but would have liked to become acquainted with each and every one of you more to become acquainted with each and every one of you more and have spent more time together. You're special, and I know you will go on to do great things, whether that's a, to a career, to graduate school, to parenthood, to military service, or to something else. You have your whole life ahead of you. And as the saying goes here, I'm confident that Springfield College has prepared you well. A few words to the parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, aunts, and uncles who are with us today. Congratulations, and thank you for your support for your student, soon to be a graduate of Springfield College. I know you did your part well. And to the faculty and staff, you have taught and cared for the students of the class of 2014 since their arrival four years ago for, for, from first entering first year students, and slightly less time for our transfer students. You have been there with them through thick and thin, or perhaps I should say, through sun, wind, rain, snow, and stormy weather, since this class seems to have experienced a lot of that. As you know, we at Springfield College are celebrating two very important anniversaries, that of women's intercollegiate athletics being established at the college. Yes, absolutely. And that of Martin Luther King Jr.'s visit to campus and his commencement address in 1964. My, yes. My brief message for the graduates today revolves around those two items, both of which are about civil rights. Because the rights of women and the rights of minorities are the rights of all of us. We are all minorities in one area or another. Maybe it's your left-handedness, maybe you're transgender, maybe it's your religion, maybe you're a redhead, maybe you were born... Uh, and that really probably is just your special right? Surprisingly. So maybe you were deaf or born hard of hearing. Or maybe you weren't born here and aren't proficient in the English language. I could go on. Fortunately in this country we are blessed that this is the case that we are all guaranteed equal access, equal services, and equal rights. At least in principle we are. But we all know that in practice sometimes that is not the case. So the fact that there are courageous leaders out there who are championing of our causes, our civil rights, and take on the most difficult situations when civil rights are not being extended to all, it is indeed cause for celebration. And courageous leaders are not always heads of state or high-profile individuals. Sometimes they're simply students, young employees, or residents of a neighborhood. There may be a time going forward when you witness injustice or the violation of principles of civil rights. I hope that your experience at Springfield College, your adherence to the concept of leadership and service to others, coupled with the memory of what people like Martin Luther King Jr. and the early Springfield College female coaches said and did, can provide you with inspiration and guidance as you endeavor to support justice, and civil rights for all. I will see you all in the morning, and thank you, class of 2014. You have been incredibly welcoming to me and my family. We appreciate it. I personally will miss you dearly. At the end of the ceremony today, I'd like to invite all of you to come uh, with your family and your guests.